Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Hose freezing his nards off because for some reason it's cold today. So let's get right to it with this buddy fight Star Dragon World Estrolo Yaduck profile. My buddy is Seer Fight Dragon Ku, World Star Dragon World. Now let's continue. First off, with my size 3s, I run 2 uh, Guard Seer Dragon Guy on Magna. What this card does. Put two up to two Astro Dragons. Ah, sorry. Call cost. Put up to two Astro Dragons from your drop zone into its soul and pay two gauge. If an Astro Dragon is on your center, this guy, this card size on the left or right is reduced by three. Uh, it's a size three, so turns to size zero. Uh, when your opponent card, ah, when your opponent's card attacks, when your opponent's cards attack. There we go. If this card is on the left or right. Change the target of the attack to this card. So I just have two of them because I don't want it to clog up my hand. And just put them on the left or right when you have Astrologia in the center and they're being targeted by all attacks. So next we run two Stars Guidance Cross Astrologia. It's call cost is pay two gauge and put the top card of your deck into the soul. At the start of your each player's attack phase. You may call a size one uh, or a size one from your drop zone onto the field uh, without paying its call cost. So call your coups and your frets with this. Get your get yourself some resources. And if you call them and you have the set spell on the field, more resources on your opponent's turn. Uh, second skill is galaxy formation. If you have an astro dragon on your center and left, and an astro dragon item equipped. All cards on your field cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effect, so it prevents destruction. Next, the main card of this deck, the MVP, the star. Deity of Knowledge and Hope, God Cross Astrologia. First of all, oh, sorry about that. First of all, look, it's a Dragod. So it can be used with all flags. Second, it, secondly, its call cost is pay three gauge and put the top two cards of your deck into its soul. And then it has Galaxy FDG, which I'm assuming stands for Galaxy Formation Dragod. If this card is on your center, it gains... Ah. If this card is on your center, all of the following abilities activate. If a monster on your left is on your left, all cards on your field get counterattack plus 10k. So that's a lot of defense right there. Second skill is, if a monster is on your right, cards on your field get penetrate and power plus 10k. So... That's a lot of power, and everything's going to hit through. Another, The other one is, if you have an item equipped, all cards in your field cannot be rested by your opponent's card effects and get critical plus one. It's a really good card. I love it. With the, one of the items that I run, first attack, uh, if I have it on, equipped, it's going to be four crit. So, next, uh, we're going to size ones, I run... For a governed star dragon fret, when you call it and you have on the left and you have an astro dragon on the field, put the top two cards into your gauge, then draw a card. Simple as that. Next, my buddy, Seer Fight Dragon Coup. Ooh, my card spilled. My spaghetti. Oh no. No. My spaghetti. Uh, counter call. So you can call this on both your turn and your opponent's turn. Sorry about that. When this card attacks, if you have three or more Astro Dragons on the field, put the top card of your deck into your gauge, you gain one life and draw a card, so it gives you resources. And finally, at the beginning of your final phase, you may return this card from the field to the hand. Pretty simple. My favorite card of the deck. It's been my buddy for a while now. Jesus. Uh, next, I run for my size zeros. Three Seer F Dragon Pale. It reduces the call cost of all Astro Dragon monsters by one. By two. Ooh, even better. At the start of your main phase, if this card is in your drop zone, pay a life, add it to your hand. So, have two of these on the field, your God Cross becomes free. Otherwise, everything, every other card that costs gauge is free. Every other monster. Next, I run two different items, two Kalem Rex and one uh, Lumen Deuce. 
Let's go with Lumen Deuce first, since it's all one of. The equip cost is pay one gauge and one life. This card can attack even if an Astro Dragon is on your center. If a Dragon is on your field, this card and all Astro Dragon monsters on your field cannot be destroyed and their abilities cannot be nullified by your opponent's card effects. More protection. Um, at the start of your attack phase, if a card with both Dragon and Astro Dragon is on your field, this uh, gets quadruple attack. Quadruple attack on him. And this one is put up to two Astro Dragons from your drop zone into the soul and pay one gauge and one life. This card can attack even if the Nastro Dragon is on your center. All Astro Dragon monsters on your field cannot be destroyed or returned to hand by your opponent's card effects. If an Astro Dragon is on your left or right, this card gets critical plus one. So, four crits with the God Cross, quadruple attack with the God Cross. You can't go wrong with either of them. Well, I do personally prefer this one because it's not limited to God Cross. It can be... You can have a... Uh, it works with any uh, Astrologia. Stop licking yourself, Nasty! Next we run for Skyseer Rising Light. It's basically your reinforcements of the army for this deck. It's cut. Cast cost is pay two life. Uh, put up to one Astro Dragon monster with cross in its card name and up to one Astro Dragon item from your deck to your hand. Shuffle your deck and you can only cast it once per turn. So You run four of these because you always want to open up with uh, Astrologia. Alright, next we run four sentence battle preparations to set spell. Set, this card remains on the field. Abilities of all Astro Dragon monsters on your field cannot be nullified by your opponent's card effects. When an Astro Dragon monster enters your field, you gain one life and draw a card. This ability only activates once per turn, and you can only set one of these on your field. So, like... Have this on your field, counter call coup on your opponent's turn, draw a card, gain some resources, gain some life. Um, yeah, then the same thing, and with, a what is it, Star's Guidance, same thing. Just call on your opponent's turn, gain some life and resources. Next, I run three cross pair slash. Its skill is, uh, you may only cast this card if you have an Astro Dragon on your field. Cast cost is pay one gauge and pay one life. Counter. Choose and use one of the following two. Drop a soul from a card on your opponent's field and destroy that card. And for this turn, damage you take is reduced by two. I use the damage reduction a lot more than the soul dropping. Just because damage reduction is a lot better, it keeps me alive. That's just my opinion. I'm not an expert on these things, though. Alright, next I run... Three proclaim steer the stars. Cast cut. You can only cast it with an astro dragon is on the field. That's a lot of the things with these astro dragon cards. That's a lot of the conditions. Its cast cost is uh, pay one life. Look at the top four cards of your deck. Pick a total of two astro dragon monsters or items from among them. Add them to your hand and put the rest into your gauge. More times than I'm comfortable with. I've just straight up gauged four because I don't run that many monsters or items in this. But it's. Uh, having a lot of gauge in there is still nice. So definitely four of, three of. Next, I run three cross intersect dual world card. Link drag with uh, Star Dragon World and Ancient World. Cast cost is drop a soul from an Astro Dragon or Link Dragon or draw on my under field. And counter, choose and use one of the following three. Destroy up to two cards in your opponent's field. Return up to two cards from your opponent's field to hand, or rest two cards in your opponent's field. I use the resting one because, uh, just to cuck out attacks, I don't like being attacked. I don't think anyone does, honestly, but, yeah, that's what I use it for. Next, I run two Star Believer. God, this fucking glare. Uh, cast cost, put a card from, uh, put a soul from a card on your field to your drop zone. You gain one life and draw two cards. You can only use this once per turn. And just uh, more draw power in this deck. Speaking of draw power, because it's never ending, uh, pro I run two Proclaim Decisive Point. You can only cast it if you have an Astro Dragon on the field. Draw a card, and for this turn, all Astro Dragons on your field cannot be destroyed or returned to hand by your opponent's card effects. And they get power plus 3,000. You can only cast this once per turn. So pr more, even more protection. And, uh, yeah drawing and more drawing the drawing is never ending 
You may only cast this card if you have an originally sized two or greater Astro Dragon on the field. Draw a card for each Astro Dragon monster on your field. You can only activate this once per turn, so ideally it's a draw three. If... Next I run. Two Edict Divination. You may only cast this card if you have an Astro Dragon on the field. Cast cost, pay two gauge, kinda heavy. You gain one life and draw two cards. You can only cast this once per turn. So run that at two. And I run one Tesla Adversity. It's uh you may only cast this card if ten or more Astro Dragons are in your drop zone. It's cast cost is drop a soul from an Astro Dragon on your field and drop a hand card. Counter, for this turn, all Astro Dragons on your field cannot be destroyed or leave the field by your opponent's card effects. Then return all cards from your opponent's deck and shuffle it. You can only cast this card once per fight. So yeah, it's just a one-off. Uh, I only run it at one because I don't want to really open up with it, but if I do, it's no big deal. Uh, it's, yeah, just to like reset my field, because this deck goes through a lot. You dig through the deck a lot, so... Yeah. Next, finally, two Lost World. You know what this does. At the end of your opponent's turn, pay two gauge. You Lost World becomes your new flag. Uh, I'd go over my Lost deck, but Miles is is probably infinitely better than mine because mine is more budget-ish. So, well, not budget-ish. Uh, I'm just broke and have to borrow cards. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, there's some things like. Some people might ask me, why aren't you running Battle Supplies instead of Lost World? And to be honest, it's because Battle Supplies, where is it? It's in my deck box. Let me get it out so y'all can see what this does. Battle Supplies is, you may only cast this if you have two or more Astro Dragon monsters on the field and an Astro Dragon item equipped. Tap two cards of your deck into your gauge, gain a life, draw two cards. I just don't like it all that much because it's it's good I guess but I need a field to be already set up and by that time I'm already gonna most likely win OTK if my full field is set up so what's the point uh, aside from that like if you really want to run this I'd like place Lost World or Dick Divination I'm not an expert on these things so you know that's Pretty much all I can say. Uh, what else? Oh, sideboard. Where did I put it? Here it is. I'm only running nine cards on my sideboard. Because I don't know what to have for my tenth. I run two around the world of Thora SD. Generic. When this card enters the field, uh, choose a monster on your opponent's field. You may pay one gauge and drop a hand card and return all the souls from that chosen card to the hand. And when it attacks, I gain a life. So, this bill, uh, this boy, is a great counter. To, uh, great counter. Speaking is hard to a Thora, to uh, oh, what's that other thing? That Lost World card that puts the entire deck into the soul. You use this. All right, they fucking lose. Like whoopee, it's fucking over, my guy. It's great. I'd run it at three, right? If I, I do have a third one. I don't know where I left it, but if anything, I'd run this at three in my sideboard. Next, I run three antimatter cloud. You can only cast. You all right? Sorry about that. You can only cast this card when your opponent calls one or more size 3 monsters. Its cast cost is pay one gauge and drop a hand card to nullify the call. And please, for the love of God, read your cards properly. My dumbass last uh, tournament I went to fucking tried using this on a size 1 and everyone laughed at me. Everyone was like, yo, this nebba tried to uh, count, tried to nullify the call of a size 1. Ha <laughs> ha, everyone laugh at him. Ha ha ha. I started crying in the middle of the tournament. And that that just, like, fucked me over for the rest of the day. I, I still haven't recovered. Just please read your cards. You, you don't want to go through that and get laughed at by a bunch of nerds. God. So sad. Anyways. Uh, 
let me recover from that. I run two face seal chain for those decks that like to attack a lot, you know, like mirror match or um, uh, what else did I use this on? I used it on uh, last tournament, God of Detective Conan. The uh, um, yeah, just like on the third attack, nullify the call. At the end of the third battle, nullify the nullify the call. Holy shit! On uh, the end of the third battle. Cast this and the attack phase. So yeah, just like fuck off, Detective Conan. I don't like you. So yeah, against any really aggro deck that tries to OTK, perfect card. And finally, I run two loyalty. Uh, cast cost, pay one gauge. Choose and use one of the following three for this turn. The next damage you take is reduced by two. Drop a soul from a monster on the field, and for this turn, your opponent cannot call more than three monsters. Again, if spam calling decks uh, like Detective Conan, I hate it. Like, holy shit, please end me from whenever I'm playing that, because it's like solitaire. On either person's turn, honestly, I'm, I literally just wait. Okay, just do your thing. But this will stop them from doing anything, because most of their shit just activates when they call. Counter call. So yeah, like, it's pretty much it. I don't know what else I can add. Uh, hope you all have a good day. Uh, like most of the... It's really self-explanatory, most of the combos I can do. So let me just show you what my ideal field would be. It would be... Uh, I have, I would have, on this side, yeah. what are you looking at? I would have God Cross in the center, let me random item, let's see, yeah, Kalem Rex, ah. if it can even fit on the camera, Jesus. And finally, like, coup on the side, I guess. There you go, that would be my ideal field, and with, like, the other three coups in hand. That way you do, like, alright, you get all of, you get all of the boosts to this. Gets an extra critical, like, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing. Not good at this. Anyway, thank you for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next time I upload a, a profile. Bye. Thank you.